back it's that time of the month where we all spend a little too much and uh, come back with a lot of stuff from the swap meet we had a swap meet today in Scarborough Ontario and um, it was a full house actually a lot of people showed up today and um, yeah it was pretty cool a lot of people from uh, Instagram were there uh, KP was there uh, saw senior diecast laying some maestro tables uh, duel R double, double R, I don't remember the name. HW DNAC was there, and a couple of others. So uh, it was pretty cool. First guy I met up with in the parking lot was with KP, and um, he hooked it up with some stuff. I'll show you guys right now. So this was um, just before the show started. He had actually messaged me the day before. He had found this. My daughter collects Care Bears, and Share Bear is one of her favorite characters. So. He found a miniature sized one, so that's pretty cool. My daughter's gonna love this. And um, my daughter <clears throat> and my son are also big on Disney cars. So they hooked up with these awesome keychains. There's a Sally for my daughter. That's so awesome. And there's a Lightning McQueen. Very, very cool. Hopefully, um, it's not too sunny over here. I'm filming outside of the show just because it's, um, it's easier to just do it here than at home. And this was just awesome. I'm not sure how much of this I can get on the camera, but a uh, big wrestling fan, and I actually have uh, a couple of figures, of wrestling figures, and he gave me a Jake the Snake Roberts, which is just amazing. Thank you so much, man. And last but not least, it's a piece he found, and I thought he had traded it away. It's the uh, Chevelle. Oh, man. The... The Yanko Copa Chevelle 1969 with the green base and green wheels. Just an awesome, awesome piece. Thank you so much, KP, man. I feel bad because I don't know if he actually needed this for a trade, but uh, he hooked it up. He hooked it up, and he hooked it up in the show, too. So I'll show you guys in just a moment what we have there. So I'm going to put this away, and then we're going to move on to the swap meet hall. Hopefully it's not too long of a video, but um, we got some goodies. So bought this. Right at the beginning of the show, some dude was walking around, I think. He watches my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, for, sorry, man, I forgot your name. But it's uh, Cadillac El Dorado Treasure Hunt. This is from the uh, 2003 release. I don't really collect these ones, but, man, this one's just a nice piece. So I had to pick it up. And then um, HW Jazzy. Uh, he, Hot Wheels Jazzy, he's on Instagram. Met up with him, and uh, what he gave me was, sorry, wrong car. What he gave me was the uh, combi, the green combi, which I don't think I had. I can't, I can't remember. I know I was going after all these variations at one point, and I think it was either this or the orange one that I was missing, and I may have them all. This might be an extra, so that's cool. I uh, met up with the Hemi Rumble. He's on YouTube, and uh, he doesn't make videos, but he comments. He found the Skyline with the proper card. If you guys aren't familiar, I'll probably show it in an upcoming video. This came out with the blue card, so it's a variation on the card. And also on the grill. This one does not have GTR on the grill. The blue one does, so that's pretty cool. And he gave me this. This is what we traded for. I traded him a uh, GT Super, and I threw in a... Um, I just already okayed him a Jeep Wrangler Green Machine, and we traded for this Treasure Hunt from the 1996 series. This is a 57 Chevy. This is awesome. Wow. Love it, man. Should take it out of the Protecto. Let me see if I can take it out. I want to bend the card in case it's one of the tighter Protectos. No, it looks like it's a, it's a good one. So, there's the 57 Chevy with the friggin' huge wheels. It's just awesome. So I'll put that right back. It's my first 96 treasure hunt. I haven't really gone after the 95, 96. So it's the first uh, one in my collection. And then a uh, deal of the day for me uh, was a GTR that I picked up for three bucks. It's a Skyline, sorry, the Nissan Skyline. And th there's the price, three dollars. Very, very cool. I think I may have this one. But I think there's a card variation, so I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, I couldn't pass up this Super. The guy wanted $15, and uh, 
I said, sure, why not? This this one I'll take for fifteen dollars because um, I've got a few of these, or I've had a few of these, and I've given them all away. And I think I was down to one, um, if I even still have it. So if not, this is my replacement now. So that's pretty cool. Got a little trade happy with that one. And I'm making a run for these um, road racer cars. I have the four GT, so I'm down to missing just uh, three. I'm missing the Greenwood, the BMW, and the Porsche. But um, I've got here the James Garner Copo Corvette. And I got the uh, Chaparral Camaro. So I'll slowly but surely be completing the set. Um, I got my eye on, uh, on these ones, so I'll be able to complete that set probably within the next couple of months. And uh, you'll probably see the KP's video. But I ended up picking this up. This is the uh, Chase, the Bel Air Chase kit. Just an awesome piece to have. I had this before, it went away, and uh, picked it up at the show. So, very, very cool. And then um, I had an Army Raw set that, to be honest, I've had for a long time as an extra. Haven't been able to get rid of it. Um, I don't know, I never really put it up for trade. I didn't want to trade for it and pay for shipping, so I just took it to the show with me. And probably was my last trade of the day. Ended up getting another hitch and toe uh, green machine. Just because I really, really like this green machine a lot. So I picked up another. It may, be, it may be for trade down the road. So that's that. And KP drained the show. So we're just down to the last few, few pieces. KP drained the show surprised me with this. This is the Mach 1 Ford Mustang green machine. Very, very cool. Love this piece. And I think we're down to the wire here, guys. Yep, just down to two final pieces. This one totally made my day. The guy that actually found this is on Instagram as well. I think his name is Jerome Me, or just Jerome E. Um, so he had found these last week. And um, I asked him if he was, uh, you know, parting ways with one. And he said no at the time. And then he approached me at the show. He says, hey, if you're still interested, I'll... I've got the car you're looking for, and it's right here. It's the Black Bandit Green Body. This is from the new series, Green Body uh, Chevy Chevelle SS. It's a 1970 Chevelle SS, and just an amazing, amazing green machine. So happy to have this one here. And last but not least, what we have here is a piece from KP that he said I should, uh, I should free because it's got a crease card and I actually have this one already so why not I'm gonna crack it this is the 2011 Nissan GTR from Greenlight and that looks so sick thank you KP sorry about the glare I've got a makeshift little um, tripod right now out of a coffee cup which is surprisingly working well it's just the sun is working against me there's a lot of a lot of sunlight heading towards me but that's the piece right there guys so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the haul I had a lot of fun at this show and uh, there's another one December 11th I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it I know I get asked this a couple of times so anybody that is watching that's in Canada and wants information these are the shows uh, that they've held the last one for the year is gonna be oh sorry these are the ones that are for yeah the last one is December the 11th for this year but uh, if you want any information there's the address, it's 1299 Ellesmere Avenue, Scarborough, Ontario. Gives you the locations and the times. And if you want any information on how to get there, it's Chevy327SS at live.ca on how to attend. So again, this is for my Canadian viewers. If you guys are watching and you guys want to attend the show, there's a little plug for it. Usually a great turnout, December 11th. Should be a good show, I hope to make it. I'm not sure uh, what my work schedule is going to be like. <clears throat> But I'll try to make the show. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, guys. Take care.